So things are getting worse and worse for Russia. So Finland and also Sweden have now announced that they want to join NATO. And, uh, you know, know, listen, this war in Ukraine, Russia didn't want Ukraine to join NATO. And now it looks like, you know, many more countries are going to join NATO. The whole thing was ridiculous because Russia said that we can't tolerate a NATO member on our border. But you already have all the Baltic states. You have Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. They're all they're already NATO members right on Russia's border. So anyway, Al Jazeera, it says Finland and Sweden will join NATO. So since the Russian invasion of Ukraine, Finland and Sweden have sought the protection of NATO and are considering a paradigm shift of their respective security policies, the abdication of, ne- of neutrality and military independence. In January, Social Democratic Prime Minister Sanna Marin declared in Helsinki that Finland could not, uh, could not be expected to seek NATO membership during the current legislative period. However, Russia's invasion has laid bare the disadvantages of being a non-NATO member. So obviously Finland is bordered by Russia. They have a very long border and they have a bad history. Unsurprisingly, Russia's invasion of Ukraine has been the key factor in pushing Sweden and Finland closer to applying for full membership of NATO. Russia's invasion has dramatically changed the political dis- discourse in Sweden and Finland, and also, crucially, public opinion. There are indications both Finland and Sweden are heading towards a genuinely historic change, of course, in their respective security policies. During the Cold War, Sweden and Finland were essentially considered neutral states, albeit for different reasons. So, since the end of the Cold War, both have deployed an ever closer relationship with NATO, especially after joining its Partnership for Peace program in 1994, and joining the European Union in 1995. So despite joining the EU and most significantly in terms of defense and military policy, both countries continued to position themselves as militarily non-aligned. This effectively meant while they are no longer political neut- neutral, they formally remained outside of any military alliances. The latter is seemingly about to change. Finland is reportedly inclined to decide on NATO membership within weeks. Sweden, meanwhile, faces an election mid-year and it has been somewhat more cautious than Finland where its future is concerned. Obviously, Finland borders Russia, so Finland is more more in danger. And yes, within weeks, they could decide to join NATO. And it's going to be a big blow for Russia. It's going to be a big, big blow for Russia. They didn't want to have a NATO member on their doorstep. Now they might have several NATO members on their doorstep. So this war has been disastrous for Putin. Big failure. And there's even, like I said, like I mentioned yesterday... Ukraine is now launching uh, operation, operations inside Russian border areas. So let's see what happens. But guys, like and subscribe. Thank you very much.